Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode of Practice Problems uh, series. Uh, and this is the part 5 of arithmetic sequences. Now let's look at the problem. Find the value of x, then write the first five terms of the arithmetic sequence. So we are given of the following given, wherein we need to find the variable x, or what is the value of the variable x, given only this given. Then we're going to find the first five terms. So let's start with number one. Now to answer this problem, uh, let's just answer it on how we answer uh, arithmetic sequence problem. And that is using arithmetic sequence formula. So let's, I will show you the solution. So, so this is the arithmetic sequence formula. We will use 9 as the value of our n, 25 as our value of a sub n, x as a sub 1, and d at 3x for d. Now let's substitute all the values. See the red ones? These are the values that I substituted. Now after that, I will subtract 1 from 9. So I will get 8. Then I will multiply 8 to 3x. Then I'll get 24x. Now x plus 24x is equal to 25x. Now I will divide both sides by 25. So 25 is equal to 25x. I will divide both sides by 25. So cancel this. And 25 divided, divided by 25 is 1. So the value of my x is 1. So now let's try to substitute what is a sub 1. If the value of x is a sub 1, then our a sub 1 is equal to 1. Then our common difference is equal to 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Now using this, using this, these values, let's write the first five terms. a sub 1 is 1. Let me change first my... My pen. I will use highlighter. Okay. A sub 1 is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. Then 10 plus 3 is 13. Again, 1 plus, four, 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. So this will be our first five terms. Now let's go to question number two. Again, the value of our a sub 1 is x. Our common difference is 1, one half x. Our a sub n is 30. And the value of our n is, is 14. Now using all those values, let's use it in answering arithmetic sequence. Okay, let's, let's plug that out in our arithmetic sequence formula. So we have this, our a sub n is 30, our a sub 1 is x, our common difference is 1 half x, and our n is 14. Now let's multiply 1 by with 1 half first. Oh, let's, divide, let's subtract 14, let's subtract 1 from 14 first. We have 13 times 1 half x. Now let's multiply 13 by 1 half x, and we have... All you have to do is to multiply it to numerator. 13 times 1 is 13 over 2x. Now let's multiply 2 on both sides. 2 times 30 is 60 equals to 2 times x is 2x. Then cancel this. We have positive 13x. So we have this now as our, as our equation. Now let's combine 2x and 13x. We got 15x. Now 60 is equal to 15x. Divide both sides by 15. So the answer would be 60 divided by 15 is 4. x is equal to 4. Now let's substitute the values of x. So a sub 1 will be 4. And our common difference is 1 half times 4. So that would be our common difference is 2. So that's the, the, that's the value of our a sub 1. And that's the value of our common difference. So let's write the first five terms. So that would be 4 plus 2. That would be 6 plus 2, 8. 
10 and 14. So these are the first five terms. For number 3, let's uh, use this example. So again, let's use the... Uh, again, I will, dry, I will guide you with a given. This will be our a sub 1, the common difference, our a sub n, and the value of our n. Now let's substitute all the values. As you can see. Now let's subtract 1 to 7 first because it's in the parentheses. So again, we have 6. Now 3, 6 times 3 is 6 times 3 is 18. Well, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So x plus 9x is equal to 10x. 10 is equal to 10x divided by both sides by 10. So we have 1. So x is equal to 1. So that's the value of R, Rx. Now, after getting that, I'm sorry, let's first substitute all the values here. So 1, and that would be our first term. Now, 3 over 2 times 1 is 3 over 2. Now, for the sake of uh, simplifying the problem, Let's just make this as decimal. So 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Because if you divide it manually, 1, 2, then 1, then bring down 0. So 10, oh sorry, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 1.5. So we have 1 for our first term and 1.5 for our common denominator. So now let's so let's write the first five terms. We have one, two point five plus one point five is three five four. Five point five and last is seven. So this will be our first five terms. Now for our last problem, again a sub one is x. D is 1 half x, A sub n is 36, and n is equal to 7. Now let's substitute that value. Now 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 times 1 half is equal to 6 over 2. That would be 3x. Now 3x plus x plus 3x is 4x. Now 36 divided is equal to 4x. Now let's divide both sides by 4 answer that. And now we get the value of 9. 9 times 4 is 36. So that's the value of our x. So our value of our x, our first term is 9. Then the value of this is 1 half times 9 is equal to 9 over 2. Now 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So we have 9 here and this will be 4.5. So our first term is 9. Let me use this 9. Plus 4.5, that will be 13.5. Plus 4.5, that is 18. Plus 4.5, that would be 22.5. Plus 4.5, that would be 27. So these are our first five terms. So that's all for this for this kind of question. I hope that you learned something today and I hope you still watch my tutorial video and it would be a help for you someday. Please be sure to share it to your friends and all other grade in students and high school students in the Philippines. So they do may learn as well. So that's all for today. Goodbye and thank you.